All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Know It All DM Entertainment. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Playing Star Salvage. So I'm here with my completely refurbished new capital vessel. Outside, you will notice we have this shell of our former uh, freighter out here, the decommissioned freighter. And uh, we are now in our new freighter. Let me go ahead and just unwaypoint that because that is no longer necessary. I'll unwaypoint this and let's go ahead and I'm going to name this one the uh, what should I call it? DM Transport 1. Now, if uh, you guys can think of any other name that you want to name it instead, we will go with that. But for now, it'll be DM Transport 1. We can also go ahead and take off the Junk Darts waypoint. We don't need that. So, what we've got... <clears throat> um. As you can see, the living room area, the living chambers area has been updated. We've got our statuary in here, reducing our power usage. We've got the food processor, which now has an input and an output. So you input here, output there. We've got the bathroom, of course, reconfigured, really simple. There's no light in the bathroom, but that's not a big deal. We've got our medical bay, Recolored and relayout. So we've got all four of our things plus our uh, med thing. And you'll notice the light in here is blue. Um, and then in here, you've got our living chambers, which is nice. Moving forward in the ship, before we go all the way to the front. All the way down here, we've got our hangar bay, which I've got switches on the side, which will open the door, which I have set with the uh, the airtight ones. And then I've got the non-airtight ones as the ramps down to the floor, or down to the ground. We can fit the junk dart in. It barely fits in. If I were to take off these side things here and here, it would fit in just fine. But I'm not too worried about that. Also, you'll notice when I do that, it lights up the one that we're coming in and out. And each side is individually different. So if I light this one up, get in here and leave. When I leave, the door will close. A lot will go back. But when I come back, this side will open and I can ride right back in. Um, we've got our... Uh, Cargo boxes with stuff in them. Our armor locker is over here. Um, I'm considering setting this up as a weapons locker to hold the weapons that I usually take along with me and uh, so that I can choose my loadout before I go to any go down to any planet or whatnot. So I'll have to get used to doing that. Um, I can also put my tools in there as we will not need tools all the time. Ammunition, like so. Even the claim core. I'll hold on to the oxygen and the food, but everything else that we take with us, we can decide on a mission by mission basis what we want. We've got oxygen storage here. We've got our oxygen here, so we can fill up our oxygen there. The entire uh, ship is oxygenated. Moving forward, we've got our decked out engineering section. We've got our core and our tier two extender. We are just underneath. We were a little bit over, but I removed a few of the forward thrusters uh, so we only have four forward thrusters and eight back thrusters. Um, and that's back facing, meaning forward thrust thrusters. Uh, just because it was using more CPU. We've got our constructor over here. 
that takes from the input across there and outputs it over here. Um, right now, these are extensions and I plan on replacing this middle block with a repository and then that'll become our ammo repository when we get to that. Um, up here, we've got an additional storage repository that's got 56,000 in it. Um, right now, the input has 80,000, so we're likely to run out of slots before we run out of space. Um, this one over here only has 48,000, but it's, uh, uh, it's, it's the output, so we're not going to really need that. I wish I had more space to store a lot of things. I can move this to uh, this storage repository over here, and that way the output is reserved for things that are actively being output. Um, I could probably move those to the oxygen, and then this to the fridge, and just hold on to that there. This I can put in the fridge out all these medicines. Um, dude, I thought I had a lot more medicines because I had to make up a lot of injections and a whole bunch of stuff for my medical missions, but it looks like I may have left some of that back at the base um, on Riata. So I think I need to head back to Riata with our new capital vessel. And yes, I've got the warp drive upgraded to upgrade two. Um, warp Pentaxa tank has all of our refined Pentaxa in it. This is all the fuel that I have for the capital vessel at the moment. So we're going to have to work on getting more fuel for it. Uh, you can see the gravity generator back there. I've got that keyed to here and the flight systems are keyed over to here. Um, there's no shield, but I don't really plan on getting into much combat. We do have these, which I can add. I can actually add some of them now, but I don't really... I can put the, hmm. Let me go ahead and do this, right? I can do this, this, and this, right? You can only put eight of those and up to eight of those. So what I'm going to do for now, uh, we can salvage into the input and we'll put this here for now. Um, and then we can put our sentries out for external defenses. So I'm going to symmetry plane you. Now the question is, where do I want to put them? I really don't want to put them where I'm going to end up putting turrets because I do want to keep the sentry. Um, I can put some here. Um, now let's see. If I do this, I could pick up the full block but then I'd have then the textures would be all wonky. And there's gonna be a turret right here anyway. So maybe sentries should go more like back here, right? So if I do say this to there, and then these aren't really going to have any good, well, no, these aren't going to really have any good places for sentries. I can't put them there. I could, no, because those are half blocks. Um, so we've got two rear facing. See, there's going to be a big turret here eventually, so I'm not going to want to put it there. Um... I guess I could uh, I could attach it to these. Let me do that with these. I'm going to attach two of these, one to each side like that. So we've got two player turrets and two of these. Now, 
these turrets utilize pistol rounds, whereas the player turrets utilize uh, rifle rounds. But these do a lot less damage. They do 30 instead of 50. I don't know what the rate of fire of these are because it's not listed. I need to make it so that that's listed. Which I can do. Um, Alright, so we've got the back covered. I want to do this. I want to go to here, to there. I want these in the middle. And actually, hold on. I can, with these... Uh-oh, what was that? Oh. They're actually trying to fire. Okay. Um, for now, or it's a weapon doll. Um, I want these to be retractable. Like so. And then let me get out my color texture tool. Go. Um let's organize all these now. It's going to put the alien ones separate from the player one. So you can utilize them differently. So alien devices, I think since pistol rounds are a lot more common or easy to come by, I guess. I'm going to put them as, I'm going to leave predators on for those. And I'm going to do that for the... Uh, alien ones, and then for these, I'm going to take Predator off. Got a little, uh, thing going. Okay. And we're going to leave Thruster and Turret on, even though and actually... Let's do that for this as well. Turret and thruster, capital vessels, and bases as well. And then bases, capital vessels, and that, but no predator for that. They should be the same except for the predator. Now, I've got two more. That I can. All right, let's look at. You know what? I could put. Let's see what our CPU. I'm going to. Oh, I forgot to turn the, the like, interface off. I was in creative mode before I started doing this. It's going to make a small constructor. It's going to be our ammunition constructor. So, go. And this constructor is just going to be our ammunition constructor. So it's going to output into medium ammo box from constructor input. And I'm going to have it make that's the thing bullet casings I've got a little bit of copper but not a whole lot so I'm going to have to buy bullet casing so I'm going to go 30 40 and it's really actually it's going to just make a few So I'm going to probably end up buying these anyway later on.
Everybody okay? And then we should be able to up front. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put turrets on the sides there. I can put them under here. All right. Like that. Okay. And turn turrets and everything off. There we go. Now we have our turrets set up. Uh, we're still under CPU, which is great. So we do have some defenses if we get into trouble with drones. Capital Vessels is not really going to make much of a difference. So as you may have seen, we've got our... Um, our engineer in here, I forgot her name, um, because I picked her up without looking at her name, and here's our commander. Um, I'll have to go back and get their names proper. But, now that we are set and ready to go, we can activate our flight systems, and lift off! Now, we don't have a, uh, a whatchamacallit, a, a pinger or whatnot, but I did want to come through here and show you the other decommissioned freighters. You've seen the ones in the general area of where we are now. Um, I am going to put a waypoint on the DM, junk, uh, DM Transport 1, just so when I leave, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, you've seen... The other two decommissioned freighters that are here, the uh, really long, weird one, and then the little uh, tick-like one, uh, that's uh, some sort of hauler tug, and that's a cargo transport. <clears throat> but what I wanted to go ahead and show you are some of the other decommissioned freighters. Now, to get a lot of the, the stuff that I needed for this, particularly thrusters and whatnot, um, I had to come, I went along the top, looking around the top, and, uh, there were a couple of, uh, can't see them now, because when you put a core on something and pull the core off, it goes away, but there were a couple of, uh, uh, what do you call them, uh, crashed capital vessels up there, and then down here, uh, there was a couple down here as well. Um, like the one that I've still got my core on but there was like I think another one somewhere um, I need to go get that core anyway so let's see this is our current salvage yard office the other salvage yard offices are around here Here and should be one more, I believe. Um, let's see, looking at the map, we've got this. This one, that one, and that one. No, not that one. That one. Uh, so let's come down here to the salvage yard office and uh, we'll take a look at the, let's see. We'll take a look at the one up here first. I can take off the crash capital vessel now that one because I had to make a couple of trips back and forth from them so 
<laughs> if we get over to the, actually, I need to leave that one on. If we get over there, there's going to be a base attack. <laughs> yeah, no, we're just going to grab the core and go. That one is one that actually had a lot of thrusters on it. Um, okay, so we're going to take a look at this one and the one that's nearby it first. And then we're going to head down to the one down there. Um, now, there are still some Pentaxid storages here. But like I said, we're going to have to get some uh, aluminum in order to make this we need five aluminum coils and i don't know who sells aluminum so i'm gonna have to try to find with traders and such like that because aluminum is hard to come by um there are rare occasions of aluminum asteroids but for the most part it's a uh it's a material that is usually just used for trading. So it's so rare that I uh, people don't normally hold on to it. All right, so we're over here now. And I'm gonna come over here, grab these computers. Cause this is a, uh, Uh, what do you call it? Junk storage. It's got a lot of computers. Now, in terms of left and right thrust, we don't have a whole lot. But what we do have is better than nothing. Let's turn off our flight systems. And we're actually going to go out in the dark. come down right here you can see in this general vicinity there is I believe one uh, and that's one. <laughs> um those out going to a thousand fill up everything we can with computers. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to get all of the computers, but we can get enough that we can actually sell a decent amount, probably. Even going to put them in the, in the refrigerators. Haha, -ha, we got them all. Now, I'm going to see it. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. Let's just see if we can get the ones out of the fridge into there. Yeah, okay. So now that we've got all those computers, let's take a look around here at the, uh, the uh, decommissioned freighters in the area from here. So over here, we've got this one, which is the Luxembourg transport freighter. And this is one that if I had seen ahead of time, I might have decided to repair it. But I think the one we have is actually a better choice. 
Um, I did go ahead and loot everything here, but uh, this is actually one of my favorite ships. I've turned we at one point we actually turned a freighter of this variety into a uh, capital vessel that Captain Adonis, I believe, Ublaish and I uh, flew for a while. And, uh, oh, now it's hailing, yay. Um, but the nostalgia of that is, is something that I, I remember well. This was back in, like, Alpha 4, I think. Um, ooh, taxi tank, I not take that. Um, ow. Uh, I should be able to pick this up in... Oh yeah, it's not... No I didn't grab my core. That's fine. I don't really need a Pentaxa tank. I just need stuff anyway. Okay. Just a little extra stuff. Um. But the unique thing about the Luxembourg transport is that all of its cargo is out here along these. Oh, look at all these. I forgot that it has all those. So these are normally filled with cargo. Oh, look, it's an RCS. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Um, and so the cargo is out here exposed um, so that if you were fighting against it, you would have a better chance of exploding it and destroying some cargo because they're not shielded. Um, this, another RCS, and another RCS. Okay, just a lot of stuff that I didn't notice the first time I was here. Okay. And... Uh-oh. Yep, I should have thought about that. That's okay, I don't need to come back here. So... We've got the Luxembourg transport around here. Um, I don't think there's another decommissioned freighter in this little area. Is that a drone? Hold on. Oh, it's a Polaris drone. Never mind. They really need to change the color of the dots. Yeah, there's the Polaris rocket drone. They really need to change the color of the dots on the, uh... On the map. Like, when you see them on here. Because I thought that dot was a Xerax drone. Okay. Now we're going to head north. I would really like to get a CV detector if I can find one. Flight systems on. Alright, so... Heading north, there's this other one. 
Maybe that's why it the last one wasn't on my registry because I had didn't ping it. But this up here is a junkyard. I'm pretty sure it is. No, it's just a settlement. Maybe there's only three junkyards on this planet. I could have sworn that was a junkyard. Well, let's head down to the, uh, th maybe there is only three on most of them. Um, let's head down to the crash capital vessel to pick up our flame core. And then while I'm down there, I'll take you to the other salvage yard off all right we're coming upon the crashed capital vessel now i don't want to come down just on this side of it i want my rear to be going ahead and facing it As you see over there, there's a uh, Xerox thing over there. Uh, what do you call it? A uh, defensive tower. And we don't want that to attack us. Now, we're gonna ink up just a little bit. I know that's gonna make it hard to get back into the stairs there, but. Now we can pull that off of our registry so we don't have to worry about that. Now, go up, around, over here to this final salvage yard. Unfortunately, I don't have very much rotational torque, so I may want to either hire a pilot to pilot the ship, which will give us more torque, or get put an RCS in. Because of our CPU usage, I think the better uh use would be to hire a pilot which means we're gonna have to find a crew trader that will trade us a pilot hire us a pilot all right we're coming upon this junkyard here and as you'll notice there's also a couple of other uh pentaxid and weapons crates in this area um but the main thing you'll notice is where it says salvage this freighter. Uh, that is another freighter designed the same as this. Although I did disassemble some of its nacelles and whatnot. Uh, just so that we can. Uh, uh, so that I could utilize the steel blocks in uh, fixing up and upgrading this. Uh, uh. That's more level. All right. 
fight system off. Nacelle's reattached. Uh, before we go out this time, I do have the claim core now. Um, I have my first claim core, the one in here. My second claim core, which is back up. Either that was a salvage drone, or I heard uh, an actual drone. Um, we'll take these. I'll leave those. I'm probably not going to need them. So I can do this, that, and those. And I think that should be everything we need while we're out. Um, should be back straight out. Very good. So, as you can see, the salvage this freighter freighter is the same design. Like I was saying, I've already looted everything from it, um, pulled off all of the thrusters, pulled off all of the devices, so we can go ahead and take off the waypoint. Um, the taxid and weapons, this one... I don't remember what was in this one. But I did loot it. That looks like our... Generators, maybe? Um... Just gonna check some of these to make sure I looted them. Yep. If the door's open, I looted it. If I didn't loot it and the door's open, it's got a name tag on it, so. Um, okay. So one thing that I've done for, yep, I don't see any other decommissioned freighters around here. One thing that I've done for my work in progress scenario that uh, is going to impact the main one with the next update is I gave this guy some dialogue. Greetings. Welcome to the Utopia, the Europa Polaris Junkyards. How can I help you? Uh, what do you do around here? Me? Mostly drink root beer and answer any questions asked by scruffy looking scavengers. Do you sell junk around here? In compliance with Regulation 37 of the Galactic Salvage Charter implemented during the post legacy Galactic Conference, no civilization is permitted to require monetary compensation for acquisition of acquisition or reclamation of any items, ships, structures, or other objects deemed as refuse by the Galactic Salvage Charter. In other words, no, we don't charge for trash. That'll be all. Um, I did update this POI so that you can use these, but I did that after I found these, so you can't actually do it yet. And if you open this fridge and, and go unfriendly with them, or if you're unfriendly and hostile to them anyway, there is a crap ton of root beer and wine in there. Just pointing that out. <laughs> um, but let's see. I think that is all that we have to do here. Um, there are some discarded computer cores and extenders, but they're all tier two capital vessel or base. So I'm not too worried about them right now. Um, when I get my uh, upgraded the master uh, salvage tool uh, and master salvage multi-tool by extension um, then I will come back for the pentaxid in these containers and the one in the original uh, one that we found okay but for now I think I need to head back into space I want to check out the uh, Interspace Salvage Industries uh, Junkyard Station 
because they've got some, uh, uh, first of all, they got a crew trader, and if they have a pilot, that'll tell me how much I need to sell to hire a pilot. Once I get a pilot hired, then I will be a lot more maneuverable. There is some titanium here. So there's two titanium and one cobalt deposit on the planet. And so I was considering uh, junkyard station this direction. And now that we're back in space, I need to, I can go ahead and take that waypoint off, take that waypoint off. And I'm not sure why it's showing the decommissioned CV because that thing has already been taken off. Let's see if I can find it on here. Uh, computers I should be able to delete. Oh, there's one uh, capital vessel with a CV repair bay on it that I want to come back for eventually. Not with this capital vessel, because this one doesn't really have room for it. But when I get a larger one, definitely. Trader. Not showing the decommissioned CV on here at all. So that's a little unfortunate. Um, I don't have any things in here either. So we're going to have a few PM Transport 1. Well, that's this. Decommissioned CV. Um, the other one I have waypointed is uh, the junkyard station that we're headed to. Now, I don't have... Uh, I've got 98,000 credits, so we may have enough for a pilot, depending on how much they cost. Um, but in any case, I'll see you guys when we get over to the junkyard station. Alright, we're coming upon the junkyard station now. Um, I want to avoid running into the space trash that's orbiting it. Okay, I should also point out I should oh, should avoid running into the station itself. Um, let's see, can I lower this? I don't think so. The other capital vessel I could lower. I could lower the other capital vessel enough that I could get out the back. On. Then by the time I get back 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 here, I should be able to turn off the gravity again. Alright. Okay, over here. Now, let's see. The crew trader is in here. Do you have a pilot for hire? Not at the moment. There are other crew members. A quartermaster would be nice. I could use him as my ammo rep. Well, actually, I couldn't. You can't use a quartermaster as an ammo repository. I need an ammo repository. Um, I 
I've already got the alien one of these. I could get, well, I don't have enough to get another commanding officer right now. Engineering station. I could get another engineering station, but that wouldn't help with the torque. That would just help with the left, right, forward, back. Um, let's see what we do have that we can sell. Um, computers! We can sell computers! <laughs> uh, um, I know they will occasionally purchase these. Um, let's see if Major Salvage over here will buy medium and small thrusters. They will. Oh, but it's out of range. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate just how far okay well that's because the Wi-Fi is in the front I need to put a second Wi-Fi in the back so let's go ahead know of a really good place for it. I'll probably put it up in the uh, habitation area. Wi-Fi. Wi Did I not unlock the Wi-Fi? Maybe not. I've been finding Wi-Fi's, so large devices. Uh, wireless connector is... Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, and we can put this, I did go ahead and take off the thing that was up here, um, I mean, let's see. Oh, I need ammunition for this. Did I not grab the ammunition for it? Did I run out of ammunition for That's a question. I do need to make some more ammunition for it, so... Put that right there. Just for... So, eh, we'll keep it light. Alright, let's get you making some those. I don't know how much it'll make, but it'll make some. Now, we should be able to stay within Wi-Fi range of this and sell these thrusters. Later, if we need thrusters, we will buy more, but for now, we don't. Alright, Major Salvage. Please show me your offers. And... Small thrusters. One. They'll take four of those. That's fine. I think I have... A large thruster somewhere. I don't remember getting rid of it. Um, it's possible I did get rid of it. It's possible I sold it too. I don't remember selling it, but yeah, it looks like I probably did. 
Um. And then we're connected to here, which that should total 100. Connect cargo one and two are filled with computers. Um, What other thing can I sell? I don't think I set up the repair station here, so. Fuel tanks tier three. How about this? What about these fuel tanks? These fuel tanks. Um, blast doors, probably not. I'll hold on to cockpits because they're difficult to find. I wonder if I can put that on the capital vessel right now. Um, I could sell that if I could find someone to buy it. Robotics. That should go in the fridge. Hold on. Input should take. All right, I can take all of those. Nearing scrap. All right. Um. Do it. Yeah, I figured the optronics are the heaviest. Um. Okay, do you sell or will you buy? Ooh, yes, you will. Good, good, good. Um, I don't think he would buy. No, he would buy cockpit. They're only 9,000, though. I do have two of these, but I'm going to hold on to them. The base tier 4 extenders, I'm probably never going to have a tier 4 base. So, let's see. Where are... Somewhere, base tier four extenders. I'm gonna have a large capital vessel eventually, but probably not a large base. I could also go ahead and sell these generators or I could hold on to them for when I get a larger capital vessel. Um, let's see, base extenders. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> There we go. We're at over a million now. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. The base ones sell for more than the capital vessel ones anyway, which is nice. Um, I may eventually need, need a tier 3 base, but I'm not going to need a tier 4 base. Uh... Let's see, you are this guy, you are Grey Goods guy. And you are the White Goods guy. I can sell robotics to. Um, let's put these two robotics here. Um, I don't think I have any other trade goods at the moment. Robotics. Sell those. Okay. 
Now, interweb. Let's see what you have. Specifically, Unicart. Assault right here. Okay. I think I'm going to need the pistol. The assault rifle will be good enough. Okay. So I can replace this with that now. I don't need a junk rifle anymore. And then I've got the Unicart shotgun. Unicard Assault Rifle, and these are just below epic in quality, so, um, that's good, which means when I get back, I can put, I can put away these, I'll probably just put the SMG away, I don't need an SMG, I'll use it as a backup weapon, heck, I might put half of these in the, um, other thing anyway so let's see shotguns going first all right gonna put that and that and that away um I'm gonna put half of these in here the other half are gonna go in the ammo box in here and um and somewhere we've got actual bullets uh, all those computers Um, somewhere, don't know where we should have here a bunch of those. Um, those are in there. Um, Oh, because I had that making them. Gotcha. Um. And then we can do. Ah, there's the large thruster. I should be able to sell them. Um. You're gonna keep a full stack of 4,000 in here at any given time. That should be good enough. Don't have any more pistol ammo in here. Okay. Um. I just. Oh, but. All right, so we're gonna put these down here, and then anything that is just hover vessel, we should be able to sell apart 
from the Okay. Honestly, I don't know what to do with all these computers. Um, I'll probably create a... Put them all in a box back at the... Uh, back at the base on Riata. I'll probably... Um, put them all in there so I can go back and get them if I ever need them. I believe that's all we need here. So, I think it's time we head back to Riata and unload a lot of our stuff. This was a highly lucrative venture. We got ourselves a larger, more functional capital vessel. We got a whole bunch of other stuff. For now, before we go down, I'm going to make one stop over here at the junkyard station. And then I think I want to make a stop at the Polaris uh, station on the planet. Derelict orbital station. So eventually that's going to become our uh, port of call is this derelict orbital station. But only once I have to do the uh, mission for the engineering. Before that, I'm just going to stick into my uh, capital vessel as my main base of operations. And then use the ground base as a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? As a sort of... Uh, storage facility. I mean, it is a junk storage, so we're going to use it as a storage facility for a lot of the extra stuff. Uh, we're going to unload a lot of the stuff we don't need on us right now, and then we're going to be doing some exploration throughout the system. Um, but before we do that, all these medical things I want to get done I might want to go ahead and uh, make a larger garden. One that will yield a lot more. Eventually, I'm going to have a larger garden on the uh, derelict orbital station. I plan on converting the entire top to uh, a garden and then putting a landing pad for my capital vessel on top of that. All right, so we're coming upon the junkyard station. Just like we did with the other one, I'm going to get a little bit close. I might actually see if I can position it on top near one of the upper uh, access ports. Let's see, because this whole top 
area here. I should be able to come down close enough. Like so. Alright. Uh, we're still outside of the station's gravity field. But the only thing we're here for is to see if they have a pilot for hire. So... Also, we should be able to sell some more thrusters. Pilot! Yes! 102,000? Let's do it. Um, while we're looking at this... Another engineer probably isn't necessary. And I haven't really updated their, uh... Thrust yet, either. So I'm going to hold off on that. Like I was saying, a quartermaster would be nice because that would save a little bit of CPU in terms of one cargo box. I could get both of these. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Buy two quartermasters. Hire two quartermasters. Um. And again, we've got Let's just go ahead and hire a full command crew. Alright. And then let's see. Um Let's see how many of these we can get rid of. Alright, show me your offers. Um, I'm pretty sure the fuel tank you will always take. Uh, take those. And I'll take three of those. Okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, let's go ahead and get our crew situated on four. Um, This way? Yeah. Okay. First things first, our quartermasters. Um, we're going to set one up here. Are you full? You are not full, full. But if I pull that up, I'll need to transfer stuff first. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. In the meantime, you can hold all those And then the rest of this stuff should be able to think over 
here. I can put those over there. There we go. Now I should be able to pick this up. I do want to make sure. Uh. Oh, right. The people in the connected. <laughs> okay. All right. The quartermaster will go here. You can go away. Go away. Go away. I don't need you. I don't need you. Go away. I put it here, too. Actually, I think I'm going to do that. I'll put that there. I'll probably put another one of those there. So you should now be able to take that. That. And then all that back. Um. All right, so you are Quartermaster Tom. You I think I'm just going to keep you here because that'll give us some extra storage as it is. You will be Quartermaster Akara. Alright. And I'll leave that where it is facing that direction. That's fine. Um You will mirror on this side. Okay. Um, I will position. Let's see. You will go up at the very front. You will go over here to the side. Um, put you to the side right there. And then captain's chair will go right here. So he'll be flying the ship. I'll be commanding the ship. Actually, I should move this back. Commander's seat should go back here. And then she actually let's put her in engineering, right? We need somebody to tell the engineering people what to do. So now we've got our full command crew. She will be the uh, engineering commander. I guess chief engineer. And then people that actually do the work. So that should have brought our CPU usage down by like 2,000 plus like another 100. And uh, now that we have a pilot, we should be able to um, get down relatively quicker. Um, get down to, or not, rotate quicker. So, okay. Um, I believe that's everything. Uh, I can put this on. But I think I'm not going to put it down just yet. I need an ammo repository to go here, and then I'll move the, board, the 
this quartermaster. I'll probably put him here as the input later. Like he'll be in this space and that will be a one of the repository blocks and I'll probably have another repository block up there. Um, so we can go ahead and do this now. Get that there. We've got him controlling all these. So that's all good. I think we're ready to head back to down to the planet now. Does rotate just a bit better. It was a lot worse than that. Alright, so we are headed to this direction, down to the junkyard. We're going to come down to our uh, uh, junk storage, offload some stuff, and then figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the episode. All right, we're back over here, and when I got here, the base was out of power. So I slept through the night, and I got 33%. So one full one of these is filled, which is fine. We didn't really have anything in the fridge. We didn't really, really, we should have just turned off the base, but uh, I didn't. So um, I moved a lot of the computers just now over to... Yeah, to here, and here, let's go ahead, turrets and weapons are on, uh, turrets and weapons on this are on, let's go ahead, get you out, um, unfortunately, my use of the, uh, bed did run some of the, uh, Where are they coming from? This one. Uh, my use of the bed did run some of the, uh, stuff, the, uh, ship out of fuel. It ran the, sh it didn't run it out of fuel, but it, it used more fuel than I would have liked. Um, and I was trying to have it make fuel while I was sleeping. Unfortunately, I forgot that the cargo box, what the output was full of computers. So I uh, was unable to uh, make more than 10 for the output and so I used more fuel than I made if I had made more fuel than I used it would have been worth it unfortunately that was not the case oh, and go. I'm actually getting decently good at coming in and out with this which is good um, okay. Now, I did start trying to put little platforms. Where did you come? Did you, you were not here. You were not here. Hey. All right. Um, 
All right, so let's see. Connect back to junk storage. Okay. So, really, this level, the level I need it at. So, if I'm here, let's see. One, two. So, this will be the left. That. Okay. Now I should be able to get the ship level. I mean, it's semi level, but it's not level level. So, um, and these little landing pads are just temporary until I can. Should be good, I think. Looks level to me. They're just temporary until I can put a full landing pad in. That's semi in the middle. That's semi in the middle. That's on the top. Not right in the middle where it needs to be, so... We need to angle to the right just a smidge. I believe good. Okay. So we are now back at the base. We've got, we took care of that drone base attack. Still can't walk straight up these, but it's good enough. Those are level. That's on that. So it is landed flat ish. Listen, you. Now, the fact that our power here died might mean, unfortunately, okay, none of these are dead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we have transport fridge in. Things didn't grow, but that's not uh, unexpected. Now, this is a small-ish farm and really I want to get a larger farm going uh, one where we can get a lot of crops and such so that we when we come back to the planet we can harvest them and then not have to really worry um, oh yeah that's right the plants were the only reason I left the base going um, I think what I want to do is I want to make it a solar farm. 
I want it to be in space, however. Oh, look, junk storage drone. You stuck? <laughs> um, I'm not worried about him. Actually, let me go get that warp drive. Are you emptied? Start pretty empty. And I am not. Um, medium transport input. There is a lot that I want to. Um, all right, let's do this, right? Okay. Um, junk storage. That is pretty much full. Do that. Um, output is full. Food pantry is where all the medicines were. I'm going to have to put a food pantry over on, uh, on this side as well. Really, it should just be called, like, closet or something. Um... One fuel. All right, let's all right. I will keep a thousand computers, so we've got some space in here, and uh, now everything should be good. Um, <sighs> so this farm is going to get retired. So that I can just turn off the base while I'm gone. Um, and this hover vessel, it's just gonna get, it's just gonna stay here. Um, I might recover some of this stuff, but for now, I may end up just recovering the whole. Thing once I get a larger capital vessel that I can just drive it up into. But for now, we're just going to leave it here. Um, you have a lot of oxygen that I can take out. Uh, transport output. GM transport fuel. Okay. Done. We'll turn you off. Okay. We've done a lot this episode, so I think I'm going to go ahead and make plans for the next episode off camera. I think next episode I want to make a orbital garden. We are really close to the sun, so the solar in space will be great. Yes, that is that big thing there. That is the sun. That's how close we are. Um... So, I think I'm going to call that an episode. We'll, we'll probably leave the capital vessel down here. Take this out to start work on the farm. Although, I would like to transport a lot of stuff up there. <sighs> Tell you what, I'm, I'm going to do some off-camera 
inventory, storage, sortage, and such. And we're going to decide what we need, what we don't, what we can keep, what we can throw away. Um, 475, 614. I have in here one projectile turret block, and then somewhere else I've got another one, because this one was down here at the base. There. Now, the CPU is just 2,500 for either one of these. I think I want to go ahead and put these in the tops here. Um, I'll put this one here and this one here. So we'll have mini guns here and here. I think I'm going to want to put cannons here and on the other side. And these aren't going to be retractable ones. They're just going to be slapped on there. Um, right. So we've got our turrets in place. This really should be changed. I want this. Okay. That. No, that will be best. Okay. And over here, um, on this side, this and that, and then that. So it's more flush along with that. And then this side should do same there we go so that still slopes down but that is flat into here like it I like it and then that slopes down for these these I may eventually replace, if we can get some uh, one by one by one turrets, I'll replace those three with them. But for now, just keep those as they are. Um, same with that. And I'll probably put, would put another one over here just to mimic it. That. Um... All right, I'm going to do some off-camera work, uh, sorting of inventories, probably adding inventory to this so that I have a lot more space, um, try to get all my computers into one inventory. I'll probably pick up a lot of the stuff in here that I'm not going to need, like Structor and, uh, and a lot of the stuff, but... Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed the episodes. If you did, hit the like button for me. And if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Nodal DM, and as always, y'all have a good day now.